Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, host on Intellect Digest, and in this video, I'm going to answer all your frequently asked questions about the Android One smartphone series from Google. This is the Spice Dream Uno Android One phone which I am using here. Let's get started. We got a question whether we can move apps onto the memory card or SD card on Android One phones, and the answer is yes. I'll quickly show you the same. So you just go to apps or any heavy application or game that you have installed. Just enter into that app and hit on this button which says move to SD card. This will move the application to the SD card, thus freeing up some space on the internal memory of the phone, which is not very high. So you get some space, extra space on your internal memory. Next question received is how much internal memory do you get on an Android One phone? They come with 4 GB internal memory, and out of which 2 GB is available to the user. So I just go into storage setting here, and as you can see, it shows total space of 2.27. When I got this phone, right out of the box, I saw around 2 GB available, and right now it's 1.78 GB because I have installed some application, and there is also some app cache data which has been created, but. With a brand new phone, you will get around 2 GB of free space. You can increase the space by adding a micro SD card and moving some stuff to the external memory card, like applications, media, etc. Next question we received was: Does it heat up while playing games? We have played games like the Frontline Commando 2 as well as the Subway Surf. These are pretty light games. We have not tested very heavy games because this phone does not have enough storage to install very heavy games. So we did not test it anyways. But during the benchmark test or during the gameplay, it does not get heated because the CPU is not as heavy on performance. It's a 1.3 GHz quad core ARM7 CPU, and the build and construction is such that it dissipates the heat efficiently. It does not generate too much heat, so it does not get heated too much. Next question is how good is the battery life? Since the Android One phones are manufactured by different manufacturers, so it will have different battery lives. This one comes with a 1700 milliamp battery and seems to be doing good. The battery drain is low and we have been testing it very recently. So we'll come up with a battery test review very soon in a separate video. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you press the subscribe button for our follow up video. Next question is related to the network reception and call quality on the Android One phones. We have tested the Spice Dream Uno and it does not give us any problem. We are on 3G network by Airtel Delhi and as you can see the network strength here is around 80%. It is also connected to the office Wi-Fi. It also has 3G data connectivity. So if I turn off the Wi-Fi, it latches on to the 3G data network. So it is pretty easy and convenient and does work smoothly. There is no problem and the call clarity we have been getting on this phone is also pretty good. There is no problem when it comes to the call clarity or the voice clarity. It's good and clear both from the earpiece as well as the speaker which is provided at the rear. So the speaker phone is also loud enough. We do not have any complaints with this phone when it comes to call clarity. Next question is can I make a Wi-Fi hotspot with this phone? Yes, you can make a Wi-Fi hotspot. Just go into settings, go into wireless and network setting, go to Ethering and portable Wi-Fi hotspot and just enable it from here. It will create a Wi-Fi hotspot using the 3G or 2G connection that you are using and it is right now active. It's very easy to use and it does support creating Wi-Fi hotspot for Ethering. Next question is does it have Wi-Fi display or wireless display? Yes, it does. Surprisingly, it comes with a wireless display. Just go into display settings, go to cast screen, add the Wi-Fi dongle or the Miracast dongle that you have nearby and you can start casting your screen. It does support that natively. The software as well as hardware does support wireless streaming from this phone. Next question is does it have Gorilla Glass? There are different models manufactured by different manufacturers and they may or may not put Gorilla Glass on this phone. So this one that we are testing here does not come with Gorilla Glass. However, the glass quality is good enough and there is a bundled screen protector which came with this phone. So you can always use a screen protector if you are worried about putting scratches on your display. 
Next question we received was whether it is water resistant or splash resistant. Well, the phone manufacturer does not mention anything like that on the box, in the user manual or anywhere. So we assume that it is not splash resistant or water resistant. However, most phones have some degree of splash resistant or water resistance inbuilt, but we would not recommend you to take it in the rain or inside water or submerge it in water. Next question we received was, does Android One phone has LED notification? So this one has LED notification and the LED notification is placed right next to the earpiece that you can see here. It's a very convenient feature to know whether you have some missed call or notifications which are waiting for you on your phone. Next question is how is the performance of Android One phones? Well, I must say with the stock Android interface on the offer with a quad core CPU, 1 GB of RAM, it is not disappointing at all. The load on the processor and the hardware is greatly reduced because of the stock Android which is highly optimized for memory use as well as use of resources in terms of hardware usage. So it is fairly efficient, it is fairly fast, application switching works very well and you can switch between applications, you can open a multiple applications and it works seamlessly, there's no problem, the response time is very good. The dialer opens very quickly, the applications, camera, etc. Everything opens with a blazing fast speed and you can start using your phone as soon as you unlock it and you can also access your notifications from the lock screen. So in terms of performance, I am pretty pleased with the way it performs in this price segment. Next question is, does it support USB OTG pen drives or USB OTG cables? We have tested and we have tried using USB OTG pen drives as well as cables and it does not support it natively. So the answer is no, there is no native support for USB OTG pen drives or USB OTG cables. You may probably root and enable it somehow with some software tricks, but it is not natively supported. Next question is related to the updates, whether it will get software updates like the Android L which is the next operating system. And the answer to this is yes, it will definitely get updates. It will be updated almost parallelly to the Google Nexus devices. And the reason for that is because it is produced under the Android One program, which is by Google itself. So it will get the software updates before any other devices. So you have to stay assured that you will get the updates anyway. So it is not going to be a problem. You will get the Android L, which is the latest version and it will keep getting updated until the hardware supports the same and you will get the latest Android updates from time to time. Next question is about the graphics performance of the phone. How good is the GPU? How well it performs? Well, surprisingly, it gives us very good score on the Nina Mark 2 benchmarks since it uses only a WVGA 854x480 display resolution. The graphics benchmark scores are pretty high, but when it comes to gameplay, it is not very good or it is moderate at best. It can play games like Frontline Commando 2, but there is some frame drop or some chopping. Subway Surf was fairly smooth, so some games run very smooth, some games not so smooth. You can do moderate level of gaming on this. The GPU used on this one is Mali 400 GPU and it will vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. They may decide to put some other hardware GPU or configuration which may perform differently. Next question is, can we record full high definition videos or movies on this phone? The answer is yes. The one that we are testing here comes with a 5 megapixel autofocus camera at the rear and it does support full high definition video recording. Just need to go to settings and under settings in videos, you can set the recording resolution to 1080p, which is full high definition. So it does support full high definition video recording. This brings us to the end of our frequently asked question episode one on the Android One. If you have any more questions or queries, please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section below. We'll come up with follow-up videos answering all your queries related to the Android One smartphones from Google. If you enjoyed watching this video and we answered your queries, make sure you press the thumbs up button below this video and like this video. For our future videos and more frequently asked question video series, make sure you press the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. This is all we have on this one. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.